You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Startup Blog Insights, the top 10. Uh, welcome to another Nerd Stalker interview. Uh, good morning. This is Gray Blurry, aka Social Gray, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. And happy holidays. This is going to be the last uh, Startup Blog Insights for 2014. And we're going to end it with the top 10 blog articles for the year for from the, our favorite uh, interviewer, uh, or interviewee, uh, Taffy Williams, examiner, writer, and entrepreneur, and the co-founder and CEO of uh, Colonial TDC. And uh, he'll discuss his top 10 blogs and give some background on writing them and maybe why uh, his readers think that they are so popular. So anyway, good morning, Taffy, and welcome to our last Startup Blog Insights for 2014, uh, live from North Carolina again, Hi. right? How are you doing? Good, good. Hey, looks like an agile year, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, let's do this countdown. I, I... Number 10. The first one, a 2012 blog has showed up on your top 10 yeah. this year, right? Which is called <laughs> Working is Not Enough. <laughs> Working Hard is Not Enough, right? Yeah, it's kind of interesting because sometimes older articles tend to all of a sudden catch on. And um, like last year, we talked about the right three letters, and that one was a very early article in that thing. And all of a sudden, you know, migrated up because somebody read it, thought it was funny, and uh, you know, it just popped up. So the working mm -hmm. is not hard enough. You know, was one that was written earlier, but it really comes down to uh, you know, once I was in a uh, uh, the office of somebody that I was working for at the time, and uh, you know, and it was a time when I'd walk, you walk through and you're talking about all the things you'd been doing and, you know, talking about how hard you've been working. And then the guy reminded, reminded me, it says, you know, working hard is not enough. It's what you accomplish that's important. And, you, you know, it's, you can spend, and I've known people to work exceptionally hard but accomplish nothing. And, and that just, mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't do it. I mean, we actually had one person that worked for me once, spent 15 years in an organization, Work. They seemed always feverishly busy. Never ever accomplished a thing in 15 years of any value. Nothing. And it, so it was, you know. So you can work very hard, but if you don't make have accomplishments, and accomplishments don't take you to a particular point, um, there's very little value in what you did. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. Um, I have seen a lot of people in big organizations that I've been in just kind of they do that. Almost like they're hiding. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they work feverishly. I mean, you know, they, but somehow or another, they just somehow seem to not be able to get anything accomplished of value. Yeah, you know, I sometimes I attribute it to their management. You know, they they usually sometimes they're in other departments, and you know, they're part of the whole program team that I'm running, and you know, I'll see that, and it's like, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just have to kind of figure out how to get past them sometimes. So a photograph of that one I shot it out in Napa. And I shoot a lot of photographs. And it was a swan. I was taking a bath. So the swan was sitting there and the water's flying up all over the place, all over it and everything. The swan is not moving in any direction whatsoever. <laughs> it was a perfect example of working hard is not enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly.